Mum, what time is it? Lucas, it's time for bed. If you hurry, I'll have time to tell you a story. Mum, what kind of story are you going to tell me? Well, I've got a few, hun, but have I ever told you the one about the monsters of Surityville? Once upon a time, there was a little boy. He was handsome and smart, truly exceptional, just like you. Today, the boy finds himself outside of town. Bedtime is fast approaching. Shadows dance between the trees. All he can think of is how he is scared of monsters. The boy starts running, a monster he thinks, he begs for his family, for love, for safety, he's scared and alone. Just when he thinks all is lost, he turns and sees that nothing was chasing him. He wonders, is this delusional fear, real or all part of a dream? Mum, do monsters exist here in Suityville? Oh sweetie, there are no monsters here. Lucas, don't be silly, it's just a little bad weather. Besides, don't you want to hear the rest of the story? Mum, I'm scared. Honey, what is there to be scared of? I'm scared of the monster, Mum. Lucas, honey, I already said there are no monsters. But Mum... Lucas, let me finish the story. The boy finds himself returning home to a small, broken-down house. The boy runs inside and is greeted with his mother. The boy hugs his mother by the legs and says, Mum, are monsters real? The mum responds, don't be silly, monsters don't exist here in Surityville. What were you doing out so late anyway, son? You know the rules, no going outside after 9pm. But mum, how come, how come, that asked the boy timidly. Son, I don't make the rules, do I? It's just safer if you are inside. But mum, if there are no monsters. Slightly agitated with her son's badgering, she softly says, son, why don't you go get ready for bed? quickly before your dad gets home. The son goes upstairs to his bedroom where he clambers into bed, hoping for his mother to come up and read him a bedtime story. Good night, sweetie. Sweet dreams. Help, help. Someone help me, please. I'm being chased. Help, please. I'm in danger. Come on, open up. Someone, please answer. Hello, anybody there? I can't see anything. Please, someone answer. I'm scared. Whoa, who are you? Please, stay away. Lucas, don't be. Listen, I didn't mean to come here. I just got lost on my way home. Please, just don't hurt me. Lucas, it's okay. Don't you understand? How do you know my name? Because I'm your bear. Don't you see? You dreamed me into this world to protect you. I don't understand. How are you here? You're so alive and lifelike. I'm all a part of your imagination. You dreamed me here to protect you from the monster. The monster? Oh, I forgot. Quick, we, we have to hide. It'll be here to get me. Don't worry. As long as we keep the lights off, it won't find us here. All right, all right. Now listen, just relax. Stay calm. And we can easily get through this nightmare. What even is happening? What is that creature out there? I've never ever seen anything like that before. How could I be dreaming it? That's your mother, Lucas. How oh, I love my mum. She's lovely, sweet. She always protects me. See, this is, uh, that is why you were dreaming of her in this form. You always think you's she's loving and caring, but you stand and watch as she abuses your father. Every time he comes in late, you see you. You see? Do you see, Lucas? So you dreamt this dream world as while you lay here sleeping. That very situation is occurring right downstairs. You dream your mother as this horrific figure, as this is how you picture her with your father. And this is how you picture her being with you when you grow old. See, Lucas? Do you see now? I don't understand. I hate when she argues with my dad, but I don't ever understand what is going on. You understand more than you think. You just can't comprehend it yet. You're scared, Lucas. You're scared to grow up. As you think as you grow up, your mother will turn into the same beast she does with your father and will direct that anger straight towards you. This is why you dream of her as a monster. Alright, that is true, but it is so bad to be scared of her. I mean, it could happen, and I'm so small, I can't protect myself. I won't be able to deal with her. Why does this mean you are here? I'm here as your best friend. You use me to hold on to your childhood. As long as you have me, you never really grow up, Lucas. You want to keep me around so you don't have to grow up from being a child and therefore you can stay away from your mother. How did you sleep, sweetie? Mum, how are you and Dad? Don't worry, us, sweetie. He won't be bothering us anymore. What do you mean? Lucas, don't worry. All you need is me. One day you'll understand when it's your turn. What do you say? You get dressed. I'll go make you your favourite breakfast.